Hello and welcome to another Home Inspector MD video. Our topic today is air admittance and auto air vents. What in the world are they? And how are they important in your next renovation? Every house has a waste pipe system along with a venting system. For obvious reasons, we want soil and waste to exit the house easily, but that task is a problem if it's trying to push air out of the way in the pipe. Here is where vents come into place. Their function is to equalize the air pressure in the piping system, making the flow of waste easy. These air vents provide several functions that are needed for proper and safe waste flow. One, siphon of traps. There are traps for your faucets because they trap a small amount of water to prevent sewer gases from entering your home. Without these air vents, the water in these traps can be siphoned up. Two, a vacuum. A vent will allow air into the system to prevent a possible vacuum from forming and preventing proper waste flow. Three, escape of sewer odors. Vents allow proper exit of sewer gases, usually through the roof instead of escaping inside the house. So what in the world is this device under some sinks? Well, a house venting system is installed at the time of the construction of the house. But once you start doing renovations to the house, like installing sinks and thus need waste piping, then you also need to add venting. But it's also possible that adding proper venting is not practical in terms of cost. An alternative solution is a mechanical device designed to allow air into the system while at the same time preventing sewer gases from entering the home. These are inexpensive and simple devices that work based on a difference in pressure between the pipe and the house air. Under negative pressure, air is allowed to enter the pipe. Under positive pressure, the device is closed to prevent gases from entering the home. As you can see in this diagram, the device is installed after the trap with a four inch height above the horizontal leg. Now, there is one drawback to using this device compared to a proper vent. It does not feature access to outside air to let sewer gases exit the house. Now, we have two versions of an air vent that look different, but they perform the same basic function. First, this device is called a automatic air vent, or as you can see in the package in here, an inline vent. As you can see here, its main distinguishing feature is the use of a spring mechanism to open it and close the valve. This diagram of the device shows a nice cutaway so you can see how it works. The automatic air vent is no longer suggested for use as an air vent. And the reason is because the use of a metal spring and rubber parts for the opening and closing of the valve gives a greater possibility of wear and failure, especially consider the location of these devices are a bit harsh. In fact, it has been replaced with this device. You see, this is called an air admittance valve. These are a bit more expensive, but it does not have a spring. It consists of two parts in the package here. This part connects to your existing trap arm, and it allows you to simply screw the air admittance valve onto it. So replacement is really easy. It consists of a simple sealing mechanism to open and close the valve under negative and positive pressure. Now, let's take a quick look at these diagrams and see how simple the device actually is. Again, insulation is four inches above the trap arm and the sealing mechanism simply rises or lowers to let air in or close. Now, there are several things that are required for proper install. For example, it must be accessible for replacement or repair, and it must have free movement of air with nothing blocking the intake vents with at least a two inch clearance. According to the manufacturer, it can be used for a system that has a dishwasher, washing machine, or food disposal attached to it. Overall, these are easy to install and cost effective alternatives for additions that require venting, such as bathroom, bar sinks, and especially kitchen islands that are added to an existing house. From a home inspector's point of view, we will point out the use of devices 
in a report in that they are loud and work as intended, but they don't offer complete venting features. Also, if we see an automatic air vent, we would recommend replacing it with an air admittance valve instead. Thank you for watching this quick video from the Home Inspector ND on what in the world is this device in my house, Air Vent Edition. If you like this video, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And think about us in your next home inspection. Hey, looking for other videos like this one? Check out these other videos. Cheers.